All right, we're good. Ready? Okay, the screen's not. Okay. All right, uh, we'll call together the uh, Cuyahoga County Public Works Procurement and Contracting Committee meeting for Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. Could I have a, a roll call, please? And just as a reminder to all who are in attendance, this meeting is being recorded and live streamed on the county's YouTube page. Calling the roll, Mr. Tuma? Here. Mr. Miller? Here. Ms. Conwell? Present. Mr. Sweeney? Present. Ms. Turner? Present. There any, is a quorum. Is there any uh, public comment this morning? No, Mr. Chair, no one has signed All in. right. And if I could have approval of minutes from the November 30th, 2022 meeting. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from the November 30th, 2022 meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Ayes have it. And Madam Clerk, if you could please read the first matter <coughs> referred to committee this morning. Resolution number 2022-0442, awarding a total sum not to exceed $100,000 to the City of Brooklyn for the Memorial Trail Connector and Stickney Creek Restabilization Project from the District 3 ARPA Community Grant Funds. Okay, and if we could have someone uh, speak on behalf of this piece of legislation, please state your name uh, for the record. Okay, welcome. And uh, if you could just give a bleep, uh, is that on? You have to hit, press the... The yellow, the green button on the bottom of the stand. Yeah, for the volume, yeah, for the voice. Better? That's much better. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> And if you could just, again, just state your name for the record so we have that picked up. Jack Abruzzi, Recreation Commissioner. All right. Thank you for being here. And if you could, uh, just uh, this re legislation, this ARPA legislation, if you could just refer to what the project is about. So the project is um, kind of like a three-phase project that started back in 2020. Uh, as uh, first, st first phase of that project was the Stickney Creek Restabilization Project. Um, uh, which was meant to help uh, uh, address some safety issues down by the creek and just to kind of renovate and rejuvenate the creek area in the city of Brooklyn down by Memorial Park. Uh, so that was the first phase of the project. Uh, the second phase of the project, uh, in conjunction with that, due to removal of some paths and, and moving some paths because of the creek project, uh, was to renovate the path network that goes through the park. Um, so that was uh, to, to redo all the paths in the park, including the ones that were moved due to the creek project. Uh, and the third phase of that project, which is uh, what we're really here to talk about, is the uh, connector paths. Uh, we, we did the creek project and the path renovation, and it was decided that we need to install uh, connector paths, obviously, to uh, give access to the creek and to the park, to the remainder of the community uh, and the surrounding area. Uh, so it's kind of become a three-phase project, started back in 2020, and it, it's continuing and will be finished up here, hopefully, in uh, May to June of 2023. Okay, and uh, do you have a further presentation, more, more to it? Uh, just to explain a little more in detail, so specifically uh, the ARPA funding is going to be used to help offset some of the increased cost of the community connector paths uh, and the bridge installation as part of this uh, major project. Uh, we have received additional funding from ODNR uh, to help offset some of these costs as well. Uh, received $150,000 uh, for the Recreation Trails Project grant. Um, and the remainder of uh, the funding is going to come from the city's uh, capital expenditures uh, funded by the income tax dollars of the city. Um, and just some partnerships, you know, we always want to mention, you know, we, we try to work with as many groups as possible to make these projects happen. Uh, you know, we have worked with Re West Creek Conservancy, Northeast Ohio Regional Sword Dist North Northeast Ohio Regional Sword District, uh, ODNR, NOACA, and Big Creek uh, Greenway um, as, as, as part of partners for this project. Um, so it is a large effort to improve the uh, overall park space in the region, you know, not just in our city, but it is uh, definitely a regional project that we're working on, and these funds are going to help uh, finish that project. Right. Um, yeah, I, I like the fact that there's so much, uh, so many uh, uh, partners in this part in this public partnership. Uh, certainly, a, a regional collaborative effort. Um, if you, I don't want to cut you off. If you have anything else you want to add there? Or? Uh, no, not as far as the project goes, um, but uh, again, we do want to stress, like you said, it is a regional project, and with all the partners, you know, we feel it's very worthwhile. And how, how, much, uh, how much funding has the city put in to date in this uh, three-phase project? Uh, so, again, we, uh, funding put in, I believe we are at, 
we finished about 385,000 of it roughly. Um, and then we're kind of towards the tail end of it. We still have some invoices coming in, uh, but we've kind of flown way over that budget due to obviously raising construction costs and things like that. So we've talked about that numerous times, yes. the increase in construction costs, and the importance of getting on these projects while we can, because those costs are just going up. Um, and so you, the, the city's fully uh, committed to the project. Uh, when do you see the ant anticipated uh, completion date of this project? As we were told, the last remaining component would be the bridge installation and we are, we're told that was going to be May, June of 2023. Okay, great. I'll open the floor uh, to my colleagues, and I know, um, uh, Mr. Sweeney, this is in your district, I believe. Yes, sir. Would you like to add any, anything or comments? I'd like to add, if you don't mind. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for coming down. This is exciting. It's an exciting time for Brooklyn, too. You had an extraordinary mayor. Now you have a new one. Why don't you tell us a little about your new mayor? So, Mayor Ron Van Kirk, uh, thanks for putting me on the spot. But uh, Ron's I'm been watching right now. He told me to text you. Ron's been so. council president for. Uh, I've been in Brooklyn in this position for almost three and a half years, almost four years. Uh, Ron's been council president, and from my perspective, you know, I, I could definitely say he's been very supportive of recreation, park improvements, uh, anything that I've been responsible for. He's been very supportive. So, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to work with him. He sees the value in what we're doing, especially with the natural resources that we're trying to conserve and improve. So. And thank you. I just I tell him I look for, I, I've met him a couple of times. I look forward sure. to working with him. I'm going to stop will. by and visit. And I will. I think it's going to be a seamless transition, and the people from Brooklyn are just going to keep benefiting from wonderful elected leadership. We so, think so. With that being said, I just want my colleagues to consider supporting this as it is a regional asset, and it's just going to be something that's going to be beneficial and help get it to the finish line. Sure. So. Yes, sir. Thank do you, you, do you, never, you know whatever became of your former mayor, mayor? I believe she's in this building somewhere. I'm not yes, sure no, where. I, she's in the back of the room, so I just <laughs> want to acknowledge her. And oh, she's right. Yeah, and she, she, it's my understanding she originally submitted the project and was a major um, contributor to getting the, the project going. So um, I'm sure she's happy and pleased to see this moving along as well. So. Did, did she want to say anything? Uh, if she, mayor, no, oh. she's good. Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, with that, any other questions? Seeing none, um, uh, I'll make a motion to move this on. We do all our ARPA funding, in full three readings. Uh, so I'll make a motion to move this on for second reading. Do I have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to move uh, our 2023-005 on for second reading. I'm sorry, 0442 on for second reading. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Ayes have it. All right, thank you for coming this morning. And I do just want to thank, you know, council for, for inviting us to attend for this hearing and, and considering us for the funding. I thank you. Absolutely. Okay, another uh, great project with the use of ARPA funds. So uh, next uh, uh, matter referred to committee, Madam Clerk. Resolution number 2023-0005, authorizing a revenue generating agreement with the city of Cleveland Heights in the amount not to exceed $600,000 for maintenance and repair of storm and sanitary sewers located in County Sewer District Number 17. Okay, and uh, if you could just <laughs> state your name for the record. Nicole English from Public Works. Um, this item is, you're used to seeing this annually, one of our sanitary agreements with the city that is direct bill. So, you know, the, the cities that go direct bill um, set an amount in their budget every year, and then we enter into an agreement with them, and they um, pay us for their services on an ongoing basis opposed to just doing everything for them. So it's task ordered work and um, we bill them back. Cleveland Heights has been um, with us since June of 2014. They started at about 380,000. It raised to 600 in 2019 and we've been consistent with that since then. They typically spend um, pretty much every penny of that. They get pretty close to the 600,000 every year. Happy to answer any questions. Okay, um, just a question regarding the project itself. Obviously, these are very worthwhile contracts for the communities to get involved in. I know when I was on Parma City Council, we made the great choice of joining the county, and I'm glad to say I voted for that. Um, what, why not have multi-year contracts mm -hmm. uh, for, for this? Like, so we had talked about getting into that. Um, most cities tell us because they want to budget every year, and so they can't guarantee how much money they want to put aside. But there is um, some thought that maybe with um, knowing the mayor that's out there, we can kind of work with him on, you know, possibly entering into that the next time. I think as they got to this point, it was still they were only ready for one year at this point. But we can all right, open fair enough. And then 
Uh, as far as the the amount of the contract, what what factors go into that for that from your guys from the county's perspective? As to so we have our engineering and our maintenance team go out and meet with the city and kind of identify what they need to do next year. Looking at you know how much televising they need to do, what kind of minor repairs they have, if there's any major projects that need to happen, and then they come up with this budget that both they can afford and you know fit the needs of what we think they need to do. Okay, I'll open the floor up to any questions. Any questions from my colleagues? Uh, Ms. Conwell? Uh, through the chair to Nicole, how many agreements with cities do we currently have? Mm, I should have looked up the current number, right? <laughs> Somewhere in the, the range of 40 plus um, is where we're at. We also have Lorraine County, uh, GCRTA, and the Metro Park, so those are non-municipalities in the county. But around 42, I think, is our number currently. Any um, conversations currently with uh, new ones? Yes, so we're talking to a couple cities now trying to get some more um, some, I think we'll be bringing hopefully one to you by the end of the year at least that we've talked to the mayor. You know, it's always a little bit um, dicey as to if they have employees that they have to figure out how, you know, what they do with them and how that weans off. But we've definitely had at least one city that's been back to us a couple times now that we're trying to get to. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Okay, seeing none, I, I see the contract starts January 1st. It does, just we didn't want to have a lapse in service, so we I, have been providing service, but we haven't billed them for anything until this okay. gets executed. Okay, um, so I, I would assume you're looking for a second, second reading, reading would be appreciated. suspension on this. So I'll, I'll make that motion for making our 2023-0005 uh, under second reading suspension. Do I have a second on that? I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second for second reading suspension. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay, the ayes have it. Thank you. And Madam Clerk, if you could read the uh, last piece of legislation. Resolution number 2023-0006, making an award on requisition number 10886 to Tarek Roofing in the amount not to exceed $1,143,276 for the Cuyahoga County Airport Roof Replacement Project. Okay, and if you could, do, again, just state your name for the record. Nicole English with Public Works again. Um, Matt Reimer couldn't be with us today, so I will fill in, and we have our architecture staff behind us if we have any further questions. But this is a, a bid project that went out for our county airport um, roof, so it's the, the county building portion um, at the airport, and we received four bids. Um, we are recommending to the lowest bidder. They're also the only fully compliant bidder um, as far as diversity um, plan goes. Uh, they are slightly under the engineer's estimate, about 30,000. Um, we are accepting the base bid and one alter one of the bid alternates um, due to we felt like it was a good price and that we wanted to execute on that alternate. Um, this bidder um, also did the old courthouse roof and Virgil Brown successfully, so we feel pretty comfortable with them. Um, the, the roof is kind of a new version of a build up, built up roofing, if people are familiar with that, but it's meant for flat roofs, specifically kind of a heavy construction because it's at the airport, the jet fuel um, that it'll be taking. So it's specifically um, for this kind of use. Uh, we have a 30 year warranty. It should take about 180 days to finish. Um, and any other questions, let me know. Um. Yeah, uh, we we sent a list a list of questions um, on this uh, to Mr. Reimer, and he was kind enough to provide the answers to that. And I'll share that with my council colleagues. But just some of the the basic things we asked: the age of the roof, it's forty eight years old. Um, in the area that's being replaced, the roofing system is original. Um, how long will it take? You said, as you mentioned, one hundred eighty eight one hundred eighty days from the notice to proceed per the specifications, and then uh, have we worked with this company, Tarek, before? Yes, they completed the roof replacement projects at the old courthouse and Virgil Lee Brown buildings, as you mentioned. Um, what building is getting the new roof? Is it the entire building? It's the entire upper roof of the equipment bays and the lower roof over the administration wing. The roof over the flying club wing was replaced in 2014 is not part of the scope. And then what type of roof is being installed? And you had mentioned it's a two-ply modified bitumen roofing system, including uh, two two-inch layers of rigid insulation for a minimum R value of R25. What does that mean? <laughs> Do you know Very that official. Means? <laughs> Thanks. Do you know what that means? I don't know. No. I, I mean, I I know what the, the roofing system is. Okay. Um, again, asphalt-based, mainly for flat roofs um, to hold up to the harsh jet fuel, mm -hmm. but I, R okay. value and of R25. And that's what he said. It's, it's to hold up against the harsh jet yes. fuel insulation um, uh, fuel residue for the environment of being adjacent to active taxiways. And then the warranty on this is a 30-year 
uh, from completion of the roofing system. Correct. Um, and then expectancy is the same as the warranty period of 30 years, life expectancy, and then the pre-bid estimate, uh, $1,177,870,000, uh, which was the engineer's estimate of the base bid and the bid alternate number one. Um, and Tarek was under the engineer's estimate as I well. I could go back upstairs. You have this down. Oh, well, <laughs> no. yes. There you go. So it's Jim, Jim Boyle's good work. So. <laughs> yes, very um, good. With that, any other questions on? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, we'll say Mr. Miller and then Mr. Sweeney. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Ms. English, what is the total square footage? Oh, I do have that on one of these. 15,277 over the maintenance bays and 2,805 under the administration. And uh, what was the ad alternate for and how much did that cost? The ad alternate was for a mechanically fastened substrate board, which will result in more durable um, installation on the upper roof. And so that we felt the pricing was in line with what we had estimated. And so we opted to take that ad alternate. And how much money was added for that? The ad alternate was, get you that number. It was um, 87,230. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Mr. Sweeney? I'm good. Oh, you're good? Okay, any other questions? And and because this is a, a roof uh, job, your work will continue. Correct. Over the oh yeah, days, while correct? they're doing work. Okay, yep. no stoppage. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Um, and then what are you looking for as far as the timeline on this as far as? I'd say is second reading suspension if possible. We'd like to get them started um, as soon as we can. Um, okay. And I know we had an estimated start date of 1-9. Obviously, we're past that, so. Okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll make that motion for a second reading suspension on R2023-0006. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second for second reading suspension uh, on R2023-0006. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. The ayes have it. Thank you. Uh, is there any other uh, miscellaneous business before uh, the committee this morning? Okay, seeing none, I'll make a motion to adjourn. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Ayes have it. And uh, 